Hello everyone, I hope you're ready to learn some amazing bird species because we are exploring an amazing part of the world, India. India as a country is in the top 10 most diverse countries for bird species. The major reason for this bird diversity is that India itself has a broad diversity of ecosystems, from the Himalayan mountains, to dense rainforests, to deserts, to the warm tropics. And birds have found ways to live in all of these different ecosystems. All that to say, India had some really nice birds to choose from when they chose their state birds. To introduce each of the state names properly, I found some audio from a kid's YouTube video on Kids Learn TV. We're going to learn the state names, how to pronounce them, and the official birds at the same time. So we're going to start here in the south with Tamil Nadu. Their state bird is the emerald dove. Then Kerala. Their state bird is the great Indian hornbill. A little bit north Andhra Pradesh has the rose-ringed parakeet. Karnataka. Their state bird is the Indian roller. And this will start a little bit of a trend because it's Telangana. The Indian roller is also their state bird. And Odisha. Their state bird is also the Indian roller. So go team Indian roller. Goa. Their state bird is the flame-throated bulbul. And then Maharashtra with the yellow-footed green pigeon. Chhattisgarh has the hill mina and Madhya Pradesh has the Indian paradise flycatcher. Look at that beautiful bird. The state of Gujarat they have the greater flamingo and Rajasthan they have the great Indian bustard. Uttar Pradesh their state bird is the saurus crane and Jharkhand they have the Asian kowal. We're going to move off to the eastern states now. Bihar. Theirs is the house sparrow. West Bengal. Have the white-breasted kingfisher. Sikkim. I really like this name. It's the blood pheasant. And... Assam. Their state bird is the white-winged wood duck. Meghalaya. Their state bird is the hill mina. Arunachal Pradesh. They're one of the two states to have the great hornbill. Nagaland. Look at this beautiful bird. It's Blythe's tragopan. Look at those beautiful feathers. Okay, and next? Manipur. Their state bird has the common name of Mrs. Hume's pheasant. Mizoram. Their state bird is also Mrs. Hume's pheasant, apparently very popular in that area. And finally, among the eastern states? Tiripura. Their state bird is the green imperial pigeon. Moving up to the northern states and union territories, I should mention that some of these particular borders are contested and claimed by multiple countries, but we're just here to learn state birds. Haryana has the black francolin and Uttarkhand. They have the Himalayan monal pheasant, those bright iridescent feathers. Good choice for a state bird. Punjab. Their state bird is the northern goshawk and Himachal Pradesh. It has a local name which is something like Jujurana, but it's also called the Western Tragopan. So up here, there are two different union territories. The precise boundaries have changed several times in the last few years. But fortunately for us, the two union territories, which are Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, they have the same official birds, which is the black-necked crane. No matter how these borders are redrawn in the future, the official birds will be the same. Speaking of union territories, there's the union territory of Chandigarh. It is a small area right there, which have the Indian gray hornbill. And moving a little bit south, we have the union territory of Delhi with the house sparrow. In the south of India, there are a couple of union territories that are island archipelagos. One of them is Lakshadweep. Their territory bird is the sooty tern. And then this island archipelago, Andaman and Nicobar Island. Their bird is the Andaman wood pigeon. We're not done yet because there are a couple more union territories. One of them is Puducherry. 
Now, this one is interesting because it exists in four different places, but their official bird is the Asian coal, and I've just drawn arrows to the four different parts of this Union Territory. There are other Union Territories Datra and Nagar Havali, Daman and Dayu that do not have official birds. So there it is, a map of the official birds of India. I hope this introduced you to some new and interesting species and introduced you to an interesting country. There are some other map videos on this channel, and you can subscribe to know when new bird videos come out. Thanks for stopping by this week to learn what makes life awesome.